Hello everyone, Alex Allwright is here and I want to show you uh, how does my system work and how to extend it. Uh, so first of all, how does it work? Uh, when I hit the rig button, uh, some of uh, my uh, scripts, uh, some, some of my uh, macros evaluates and they create uh, these actors uh, for like controllers uh, and also uh, they spawn uh, so the Riga set spawns uh, this uh, mannequin updater. So actually, it's uh, called the actor updater custom set, uh, and uh, what it does, it uh, runs uh, the construction script of the character. Um, uh, so if you will go to my site and if you will visit the documentation page of right rig you can go to the plugin and here you can see like a bunch of nodes that i made for uh, my system to work uh, and also there is an updater here so it is uh, a custom tickable object which evaluates a cut construction script of a specified character so you need actually to specify a character here and it will it will evaluate the construction script of this character and whatever you put to your construction script it will uh, tick and update uh, as fast as possible uh, uh, for example uh, let's make let's make an animation uh, for this rig uh, and right now for the moment component don't want to uh, I will hit some property here so we start to work and so uh, let's go to the sequencer uh, and uh, let's open the sequencer and I will hit S key S key and uh, it automatically creates the animation so let's play this animation and let's go to the actor updater uh, and uh, so I have my rig as an actor to update and I have uh, this boolean property for updating the rig So if I switched it off construction script will not work and my character will not update uh, Okay, I wanted to show you uh, Like how to work with this updater and I will go to my rig So what is happening here? So my updater, uh, yes, this this actor updater, it runs the construction script, it sets the mesh, it sets the uh, the rig type, uh, like here will be possible mesh or skeletal mesh, uh, and uh, then it runs few sequences, and it, it depends on uh, which property, like uh, is it stance or is it a rig, and if it is a rig. Um, if we choose the rig, then we, uh, if we don't have controllers, uh, then we create controllers and then we update the rig. Uh, and uh, actually this create rig and update rig functions, they are here, uh, they are in event graph and uh, so create rig, delete rig and update rig. These functions are running constantly all the time in, in the construction script. And uh, only these uh, functions like bake uh, to anim sequence, bake to rig, and maybe select all controllers, uh, they are running from the uh, utilities function. So if you, if you create uh, the uh, custom function, yes, uh, and you hit call in editor, uh, you enable call in editor mode, uh, you hit compile and after this you can see under the utilities um, like your know, custom functions that can evaluate in, in the editor. And uh, uh, what I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you like for example how to add another controller to my rig and uh, here uh, there is for example, I would like to uh, add to my character the IEM controller for, for the eyes. Uh, yeah, like, I, this character don't have eyes here, yes, uh, that's why I didn't add. 
the eyes, but it's it's very easy. I will show you how to do this. So um, let's go here, uh, and everything here works in uh, like depending on the nodes, uh, on the names of the nodes. Uh, so I have functions that uh, takes uh, the node names from the let's let's open the uh, kite uh, character set. Uh, so uh, they go to the target manager. They take uh, names from here and they assign these names to the bones. But and and then I work with these bones. I found I like during the creation of rig. I found uh, like in these functions the position of the nodes. Uh, I create like controllers uh, using uh, these uh, macros and uh, like create for example upper body controllers and create spine controllers like I found here the position of the uh, of these nodes of these joints and I make controllers in these positions um, and like everything here uh, you can read and you can try to understand how it works uh, I don't want to hide uh, I want the system to be uh, more expandable I want you to ex to expand the system and like for example some guys wanted for me to uh, make uh, the uh, the quadruped rig uh, it's it's not a big problem to make the quadruped rig here we have uh, we have IK I have uh, like uh, uh, I have to buy a key IK node and I can make it for example if you can make the rig in Maya you have uh, enough uh, you have enough uh, nodes and macros here to make the rig here in Unreal. Uh, you have also constraints like parent, point constraint, aim constraint. Uh, they also work the same way as they work in Maya. So uh, let's go to to the create rig. So I need to create the controller. So first to create the controller I need to name it somehow and I need to understand like where to put it. So here is my create controllers uh, functions and I will just grab this execution pin and I will say that I want to create uh, uh, create I have create control I um, <laughs> I named them uh, like shorter create controller uh, so this is uh, this function uh, create create controller you can create c controller like from sockets uh, if you need to put it right in the uh, like for example in some joint uh, and I would like to name this controller uh, like ice controller and uh, and uh, so what I have here, uh, I need to specify the transform of this controller, uh, like where to put it. Uh, I need to select the type of this controller, like I want it to be the locator type. You can put any kind of mesh here, you can create your custom, um, you can create custom uh, mesh. You can import custom meshes for uh, your controllers and in these functions you can just specify uh, the static mesh. Uh, it can be any kind of shape of, of the controller. Uh, and uh, color. Uh, so for example, this is I have I have mid con color input. Uh, and I will see like where it ends. Like right now I will not care a lot about like how to make it uh, like beautiful uh, you know and simple I will just show you how to uh, make this system to work so I will input the mid color to to the color uh, of this controller and uh, I'm gonna scale it right now for 111 by default and I want so this is uh, the control array pin uh, which basically when you create the controller it will return uh, the newly created objects and will put it will add it to the array of controllers so I have my array of controllers 
uh, it's here this pin uh, controllers controllers array and in uh, in the rig uh, it's here so this is my array of controllers uh, and I put all my controllers that I create I put in this in this uh, actor array array of actors I'm sorry uh, so I grab this from here and I will connect here so after I create all these controllers uh, I will create controller for my eyes and it will be the last in uh, this uh, it will be uh, the last in this uh, array of controllers so let's just check it uh, so I want to make sure that it will create the controller uh, so stands rig and uh, let's see uh, do we have yes we have this ice controller uh, and it has put it to the zero to zero locations and it looks like like this like I specified it and it has yellow color and you can also change uh, the color of your controllers like we have controls properties and you can specify different controller shapes you can put input here your custom shape and for example this is like the mid color of controllers that will be created uh, let's let's grab and let's put the character on the zero location like we need it for setup it will be more comfortable and uh, so the, for example you can specify different color here and mid controllers colors will be uh, will be another color and this guy also like uh, the eye, ice controller so uh, let's go here I will put it back and I will restore the color I just get used to these colors uh, something happened here and uh, and then I would like to uh, to go to the rig and to continue set up my controller so I create the controller and uh, it's better for me to make the group for this controller I type group uh, and uh, this is this uh, pin also returns the newly created actor I will put it here and this will return the actor name actually it will be ice controller and during the creation this node will automatically create the group for this controller uh, like uh, it will create an empty actor and it will attach this controller to this actor and I have also a controllers group uh, array of actors uh, and I will grab it here so after I will create this group it will put the newly created group to the actor uh, array of actors which is called controls groups uh, okay let's uh, check what we have done uh, we need to compile this preprint and I need to save the rig and now I see that I have ice control group and under this control group I have my ice controller uh, and why do I need this group? I can move, like now I can move this group and if I select the controller under, under this group it will have zero positions which is very comfortable for me if I want for example to reset uh, the animation. All these controllers if you want to reset them like during the creation they have all zero rotations so if you may have made some kind of rotations and you want to reset it you just need to select controllers or you can even use uh, you can even use the uh, let's close all this tabs that we don't need you can use select all controllers a function you can run it it will select all the controllers uh, from uh, from from here uh, from the controllers array and if we list down we will see that uh, the last one is our ice controller that we have created uh, and 
you can uh, just type here like zero 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 uh, I'm sorry uh, it doesn't put so uh, you can just select them and uh, and reset uh, to to the tipos okay that's why I needed this group uh, and now I can go uh, here and I need to put this location as uh, the default location of the creation uh, of this controller and uh, it will be something like uh, 100 uh, by, uh, by y axis and uh, like and it will uh, and I want it during the creation to be like in between uh, the eyes and in a hundred uh, units uh, like forwards like this group this controller I want to be zero so let's uh, delete the rig and right now if I delete the rig like my ice controllers are also being deleted because like this uh, because during the deletion I also take uh, all the controllers that I have in my controller controllers array and I delete these controllers you can also look for this like what is happening here uh, and uh, okay and let's go to the creation part and I want to make the transform for this controller uh, so I need to put the transform position for the create for the controller and then I will group it I will make uh, the parent for this controller and it will so the controller will have zero locations and this group will have uh, the location of this controller uh, it works like here like this and uh, and I want to get the positions of the eyes. So to work with eyes, I need uh, like to add them to the bones names. And for example, I would not like to extend these names right now because they work like, like they have like this check rig mapping system, where, which is checks uh, the um, retarget names and put uh, the right names I just want to add here like new names I can make also them like to check to check them to get them from the retar retarget manager but uh, right now I want just to show you how how does it work so I will duplicate my uh, retarget um, array and I will say that this is my eyes. This is my eyes joints. Uh, I will make it also public. Um, actually, it doesn't matter public it's or not. Um, and this uh, this array will be uh, all I have. All this. Let's make it clear. And I need to add my ice uh, joints here. So let's go to the scale mesh component, and I will uh, I will show the selected bones, and I want to find my ice bones. So they are here, like left eye and right eye, to fast camera speed. And so let's check. So this is the left eye, and this is the right eye. And I will uh, like I need these names: uh, eye left, eye right. So let's go here and let's uh, add two elements here, and I will call this eye eye left, and I will call it eye. Right. You can also set up some stuff of like uh, adding automatically to add the prefixes like left or right, and then you can just use the i name. Uh, like you can automate it. Let's check i left, i right. Okay, now I have these uh, bones. 
So I need here to I need to input these bones here. Uh, so I can't grab to the macro library. I can't grab my my variables there. So I need to make an input here. Uh, I will. I will create a new input, I will call it ice joints and it will be the array of names. And I will grab from here and I will type get. So I need to get zero element and I need to get the first element. You can actually, if you will use only two ice joints, uh, you can actually use two separate variables. Uh, you cannot use uh, arrays here, but uh, it's 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 very cool to work with arrays in uh, like to automate system. So I need uh, like zero element and I need element one, the first element, and I need to get uh, the socket. Position so I uh, for, and to get the second position, socket position, I need to grab my. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to grab my uh, skinned mesh component here and I need to type like get socket location. I will duplicate this one and actually, I think I have uh, like been uh, a little bit closer in this one. So one pin here and I will connect this guy here, this guy here and uh, so I need uh, the location in between two eyes so I will grab here and I will type left node and I will connect this and I will put an alpha 0 5 so it will be the middle of these two vectors, vectors. and uh, and I'm gonna make the transform nodes and I will put it grab, connect it to the location of the controller and let's type compile and we, don't, we should also connect our variable here so it will it would work compile and I will create the rig and I see that right now uh, my controller, ice controller, are here. It's, it has zero location and its group has like right in between the eyes. Uh, so let's go and to do the stance pose. And I want to move it a little bit forward. Uh, you can grab also some vectors uh, like the position, but during the creation of the character uh, I uh, reset its location so for example if your character stands somewhere here during the creation I uh, my nodes they they reset the character position to the zero they do they do this then I set up all the stuff and then I put the character, like the con main controller, back where the character was, was, and that's why it works. It works like this. So uh, this uh, controller right now it uh, stays like it, it it states like where it was created uh, because I moved this controller here, yes, and this controller just left where it was. So uh, basically I need to attach uh, this uh, controller group to, to my root controller. So when it will move it back, so ice controller will also move back. So I need to go to the stance pose um, and I need to go to, to my creation uh, menu so main controller is being created here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Here, create controller, and this is the first controller that I create, and um, and uh, this is basically the first element in my controller's array. Um, Rick, yes, this one is the root. 
and this name of this controller is root and if I will go to the rig defaults and I will go to controllers and I will see that zero element is root so it's this element so if I want to use it let's go back to the stance pose if I want to use it I need to just to grab uh, from the controllers array uh, and to type get get zero so zero is the main controller and I need this group I need to bind this group to this to this actor like this zero element actor uh, so I create controller, I attach this controller to the group and I attach group to the main controller. I have the parent, I have made the parent node, basically it do the same as like attach actor to actor node. It's do absolutely the same but you have all this stuff here, it's not comfortable so I made just like parent like child and parent uh, and that's all. So, uh, this will be the child, this will be the parent, and I will connect the execution pins, and I will compile the rig, and let's make the rig, and now it's here, yes, and it's, and I see that uh, during the creation, this controller is being parented to, to the root node, and now it moves with my character, and let's delete the rig. Let's go back here. Uh, the only thing that uh, that I should do here is to to offset the position. So during the creation, I want to add vector to vector, and I want to add the y position. Yes, during the creation, character will go here, and I need to. To add the Y position for my controller, so it will be like forward. Uh, so I will add, I will try like 50 uh, to this position, and let's compile this. And after this, I create the rig, and my controller is right where I need it. It has zero location, and this is like this is perfect. I can make it smaller or larger. I can also set up like small controllers for different eyes, uh, like for this eye, for this eye, and this controller will move both of them, like it usual usually happens. Uh, and uh, but it will take like a lot of time. And I could, I would like you, if you need it, you can experiment with it. It's not a big deal. Uh, so we have created the controller and now we need to update uh, our rig with the position of this controller. Uh, so uh, let's go to the rig updater and let's see what is happening here. And uh, so here I'm, uh, what am I doing here? I'm uh, setting uh, there. Uh, the rig actor, uh, I have this set actor like selectable uh, and uh, for example you can also use this node, uh, I don't know, uh, like for any kind of, uh, of your blueprints. Um, you can make an actor which will, uh, which will fire this node and you can make any asset non-selectable. For example, I have made uh, the floor in my scene non-selectable. It's so it's like uh, it's acts like a reference in Maya. You can select it. You can see it. Uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, so uh, you can see all all the list of all notes that I made and. You can maybe use some editor nodes, for example, like edit, open editor for a set node or notification box, um, like or prompt dialogs. Uh, you can use all this, all these nodes for just not only for for rig. Yes, you can use them for any kind of of your like of your goals and you know, to solve like any kind of your problems. So, uh, 
So I make this actor non-selectable, so after I create the rig I can select this actor. Uh, and I can only select the controllers and uh, I set the actor transform here from the main controller and then I uh, I get all the pos like I asked I ask and I get the all positions of of my controllers with some offsets uh, and then after this note uh, after this macros I have all uh, positions, like transforms and rotations for all my uh, joints of the character, and then I assign them in this uh, in this macros, like update posable mesh macros. Like here, I just assign them. Uh, so, but uh, oh, there are a lot of a lot of nodes open here. Uh, so, but this uh, basically like the most uh, difficult part is happening here. So it it needs like to find some assets to get the arm positions, uh, and you can. You can try like, to learn on the, all this if you and if you if you have any questions on how to work how work this or how work this, uh, you can ask them and I will be happy to help you. Uh, so let's go to update rig and let's find the. So basically, I need to get here. I need to get the position of my uh, ice controller uh, and. Uh, I need to assign uh, to work with it, so basically I need to, uh, I don't need uh, like difficult nodes to uh, to get this position, to find something, uh, that's why I will just uh, grab my controller, uh, if we remember it, the, uh, so I will grab this controller and I will uh, make the input uh, input of it in this node. So I need to make the input. I'll make new input. I will say that it's like controls. Uh, and this is the array of, of the actor's references. Uh, and let me connect this one, so I need these controls here. And I will grab this and I will say get. Get the number 55, uh, if you remember. So uh, after we create the ice controller, uh, let's go here and go to the rig and make sure that the number of this controller is 55. So it's here in the end and ice controller it's 55. I'll go back to the stance pose. So I need the position of this controller. I don't need rotations, I need only position. So I will get actor actor location node and this will be the position of this controller. Uh, and I will grab here. So, and I need also my ice joints here, uh, so I need to make the, here, to make few inputs, I need to make here an input of ice, ice joints, and it will be the array of names. And I will go back here, and I will grab this guy and I will add the pin here, ice joints and I have it right now here and finally I can connect my ice joints variable to my uh, macros. Uh, so in the update posable mesh we have created some stuff and let's go here uh, so, what do I need to do? Let's type get. Uh, I 
I need to get the name of my bone and I need to if to aim uh, this joint to the location of this actor so I will type aim uh, and I have this aim constraint so how does it work it works very simple it switch the axis uh, and the select nodes uh, like to make ro make rotation from the axis and it switch this and you can apply some offsets you can invert aim invert up like the same as in Maya and uh, you can go uh, let's go back to to our update portable mesh macros so I need some inputs here uh, so I need the aim aim is the thing that I will look into uh, I need up vector also like the second vector vector and I need to get this position of the target uh, so we need uh, I don't have this uh, so I will type the possible mesh and I will type get bone location by name I can ask the bone location by name from the possible mesh component so I will after this completed I will assign this I will go back here and I will uh, so I get the position of this ice bone uh, ice joint uh, I like first I left I joint I get this position and I uh, connect it as like target position for this aim constraint uh, and now we need to specify the axis uh, right now let's put up axis like for example just Y uh, no I'm sorry Z uh, the up axis of this scene uh, then we will fix it a little bit uh, so I will type like something like this um, like up so it will be up vector and I will choose the I will need to choose the axis so let's go here and let's switch the left eye and let's see what is the axis so uh, so the axis that should look uh, to my controller is negative y and the up axis will be positive x so uh, here I need to choose the y will be the first axis and x will be the second axis it works like this uh, so first axis is y and second axis is x and I need to say to invert the y axis invert I am axis and mm, and basically I need another node that will uh, so that's why I use possible mesh component because it's very easy to set the bones position with this component uh, but you can't work with possible mesh like with uh, like with collateral mesh for example you can't work with physics you can't work with animation blueprints this is like the bad position like the bad part of this so I need to set the bone rotation by also by name so I have this rotation of my joint I will put it as in rotation and I have the name of my joint and I have this pin and I will put it to the output to the end, end pin and let's try how it works I will compile it and let's make the rig and you see the eye have moved a little bit and right now my eye looks at this controller it looks a little bit weird right now um, but what do we need we need another eye also to look at this controller so let's uh, I can do all this second time for the for my right eye but I have I have the array of joints yes and I can 
do the for loop for this array and for each loop. Uh, and uh, I can grab it here, I can grab it here, and for for every joint in this array, I want to all this to happen. So I just need I can remove this and uh, uh, and let's check let's check what will happen. Let's make sure that right eye has the same orientation. That's fine. And let's compile it. And let's make the rig. So now both of eyes are looking at this controller. That's perfect. But I know that uh, like the second axis look upwards, like look uh, just just look positive z axis and if I will rotate my head I will see that my eyes like actually it doesn't look weird like you know you have this uh, baked um, because in like baked specular on the eye and this also rotates it even look normal but if you don't want the eyes like with with the second axis they all the time looked forward look look up mm, because there can be some bugs in here uh, you can make the up axis to look to the direction for example of this of this controller uh, let's go and make it so I will type rig have this actor updater which doesn't work, I don't need this. Uh, let's make rig stands and uh, let's go back here. <sighs> and what is left to do is to, uh, for example, I want to take the, I want to grab the head controller, I need to figure out what it is, or I can, I can grab the position of the I can grab the position of the uh, of the head joint, but actually it's more easy to take the position of this controller. It it doesn't matter. Let's go here. And right now I want to grab the. I want to figure out what is the. ID of the head controller. So I hit this head FK controller, it's 6. Uh, let's go back here and uh, I need to grab this guy and get the 6. Uh, not 60, I need 6. Uh, and I need the transform of this controller so I'll type transform get get extra transform and I need the the X like let's make the rig and I need the X direction of this of this controller uh, so I will go here and I will type the uh, transform transform location node I have and I can uh, type here for example 10,000 uh, by the X so it will grab this transform and it will find the uh, position of in, in X direction uh, like the 10,000 10, units on the X direction for, and for example if I will rotate the head it will, will it will find like this position so it, it will be all the time like in X di direction of this controller so let's go back to my note and I want to put this position as up axis for the aim constraint so it will be not constant it will be it will depend on the head rotation uh, and Let's compile this and let's look now. 
So now if I will rotate the head, uh, I'm sorry, I can see. Oh, it's pretty difficult to see. Let's go to the unlit mode, and here we also probably can see. But right now, eyes do not red like look you can see this mm, directly like let's let's move to uh, the bare frame yes and you see like eyes are rotating with with the head but if I will not make this I want just like to show you the up the z axis like it was before let's compile so the eyes will rotate like they rotate uh, you can see that they all the time they try to look with, with uh, the second axis up so it's not it's not correct and and now now it's it's correct And you see, like, all the time, my eyes trying to look to this controller. And, for example, uh, let's try to bake the animation. And, uh, yes, to, to make the final, the final stage is to make this, uh, this uh, controller, like, bakeable to the animation as set. Uh, so, how to do this one so I need to go to the bake to anim sequence uh, uh, function and here I have bake to anim sequence Ah, actually, it takes. Uh, I'm sorry. Actually, it will. It should be automatically. So let's compile this guy and uh, and let's make uh, let's bake this animation. Uh, let's reset the animation and I want I want to play the uh, some animation of the boy. I don't know which one. Like, Let's play the first one uh, and let's go to the animation mode and right now this character is here and he looks somewhere uh, and let's play the animation uh, and uh, I want to bake this animation I want to go here I want to go to the bake node I want to to grab my sequencer here and uh, I want to check what is the frame rate of the sequencer is 25 let's just bake this uh, part of the animation back to rig it's baked but the ice controller right now it's just it has no animation because uh, we haven't assigned this animation for it but for example, it it works here, and you can you can set up the uh, press the S key, and where is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's check it out. It's here. And for example, I don't know. I want it from here to change his position and look up. Uh, so I have this animation and then the character looks looks up and then I want him to look uh, during a few frames uh, it usually change and I want him to look down uh, and I want to make this animation back like to, to the new animation I set Let's take the rig, let's go here and back to anim sequence and I want to put it 
just by default by skeleton, boy skeleton uh, here and uh, let's go to the content here is my asset and let's watch what is happening with his eyes uh, here uh, I will type L button and I will try to change the light and and you see it's basically it's the same as I made it now he looks up and then he looks forward uh, what what I wanted to show you also like you have for example you have these joints uh, in the skeleton let's go to the skeleton let's go to the reference no, you don't need to go to the reference pose for example I have these eyes I eye, eyelids controllers Yes, and I can also set up my eyes so they would act in, uh, for example, when my character looks down, yes, in my rig, uh, these eye controllers, they would also affect uh, to, to the position of the eye, eye controller, like these joints would, would also act here. You can set up, uh, so basically using my system you can set up any kind of joints uh, that you have in your character. Let's go to the reference pose and uh, for example I want to to make the controller for for the bag uh, and for the backpack and uh, it has its custom joint. Let's show the bone of, of the hierarchy. It has key, its custom joint and I can also uh, make the controller for this joint and I can work with it. It's not, not a problem. I can make controllers for these joints, for any kind of joints. So if you, uh, you can, you can also make uh, the uh, setup for, for the face rig. You can uh, make the face rig uh, if you will uh, set and skin all the face controllers, all the face joints, uh, like you will put a lot of joints here, uh, and you, if you have uh, like only joints rig for your face, you can set up it with my system. It's not a big deal. In future versions, I would like also to add the possibility of the um, of blend shapes. Uh, like blend shapes also uh, could drive like my controllers could drive the blend shapes and in uh, in the version uh, uh, 4.13 it's al already has uh, some like possible assets uh, po like pose pose asset there and I would like to test it but I need time I need time for this uh, and uh, also, I would like to you to uh, to go here. So I have I have my roadmap. Uh, so beta, and here you can find the link to to the roadmap on the trail on. And guys, I would like you to leave the feedback. It's uh, this roadmap is absolutely the same as for uh, for Unreal Engine. You can see what features I would like to add in the new uh, in new versions of the rig. Uh, so I will uh, basically. I will uh, put some features to the to the new uh, rigging system, uh, but, and I will put the system to the marketplace. I will not put all this stuff there, but I but you can uh, vote here, and I can choose some uh, I can choose some features, and to add them to the marketplace release. Um, but firstly, of course, I I need to. Uh, to fight with some some bugs and some uh, some features that I really think that they should be there. Okay, thank you everybody for for your time, for your attention, and uh, see you soon. Bye.